Hey everyone, uh, am I audible? Can can you just confirm if I'm audible? Hey everyone, uh, am I audible? Can can you just confirm if I'm audible? I am. Waiting for everyone to join. Uh, it will be the second class of uh, the range query DS. Uh, I am assuming you have seen the first class at them. I am not expecting more than 10, 15 people. That's okay. We have 10 15 people, I'm good to go. I am not expecting 10 15 say other people to fill there. So waiting for everyone to join in so that I can quickly get started. Okay, uh, to start off with, uh, today's topic will be range query DS2. Uh, so if you remember in the first uh, range query class, I did talk about segment trees and we did solve, I think four or five problems on segment trees. We did uh, range query, uh, range sum query, point updates, and uh, we learned about uh, how to carry specific nodes in a segment tree, right? That is what we have done on the first day. So for everyone out here, uh, my name is Raj Vikramanthitya. I'm known as a striver in the programming community. Currently, I'm working as a software engineer too. I'm a candidate master at Code Forces, also a six hour coder at Code Chef. I I'm, I'm teaching from the last couple of years and I also run a YouTube channel which has over 130k plus subscribers. Uh, the subjects that I primarily take are competitive programming, DS Algo and C++. Now uh, a lot of times candidates do miss out on uh, great opportunities due to multiple reasons. They don't have a uh, better degree or a like they don't have a good degree or a very very uh, good network or their resume does not stand out among the hundred others who are applying for the same startup you may have applied for 50 60 companies but you don't get a call for a single interview that is where something like relevable comes in which is india's first test hiring platform backed up by academy which is helping job seekers find their dream jobs now you can get a job on the basis of your skills and talent you need not depend upon the degree or any other people in your network now what are the benefits of participating in the relevable test uh, once you participate in the relevable test you get access to over 50 plus companies including India's top startups and unicorns like Cred, Razorpay, Misho, uh, Urban Company, uh, 1MG, Yellow Messenger, Code Nation and uh, a bunch of other companies who are hiring at Relevel. Uh, how many job openings are there? There are across there are across 1000 plus job openings across business development, uh, front end development and back end development. You can attend this test for free, finish your test in a single day of your choice and get the relevant score. And if the relevant score is above 700, you can get your dream job. Like you can get an interview and you can get your dream job in within 15 days. Now, uh, what are the uh, tests that you can give? Business development, front end development, back end development and data analytics test you can try out. So. You can book a slot whenever you want to give the relevant test. Slots are limited, so I will suggest you to book it very, very fast. Also, you can use my promo code venture in the description, which is basically Striver in order to get a bonus sample paper. And once you get the bonus sample paper, you can go through the mock test. So there's a link in the description. Go and register for relevant today. Car sound is coming from back. Today. Car sound is coming from back. I don't think. Ah, no. I don't see a car sound coming. No, no, I look sleepy. I just wake up. I just woke up, na. So, I'm just sleepy. Lag raha hu. Atti kya? Or class ke saath sahi ho jayega? Car, car ka baza aa raha hai kya piche se? Car ka baza aa raha hai kya piche se? Car ka baza aa raha hai kya piche se? Car ka baza aa raha hai kya piche se? Car ka baza aa raha hai kya piche se? Car ka baza aa
कार का आवाज आ रही है पीछे से कार नॉइस कमिंग इन फ्रॉम बैक नो ना चला 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 अपने को क्या करना है क्विक टाइम प्लेयर लेना है ही क्विक टाइम प्लेयर लेते हैं फटाफट से ही कैंसिल करो इसको कर जाओ क्विक टाइम कहा चलिए फाइल मूवी रिकॉर्डिंग ओके गोज माई आई पैड टू गुड नोट्स receive the ipad is visible yeah as ipad see how much ipad is visible so screen kar dete hain thoda hey this is good enough so going across so okay so i will be taking on the class which is specifically uh, range query ds okay ds So let let that open. कहाँ चला गया? कहाँ नहीं? Hmm. क्या बताना है अलेजी प्रोपोगेशन हाँ अलेजी प्रोपोगेशन लेजी प्रोपोगेशन होगा आज ले मी जस्ट बिल्ड इन थर्टी टू पेजेस फाइन नाउ ओके लुक्स लाइक वी हैव द एंटायर स्क्रीन टू आवर सेल्फ फुल लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली एडजस्ट दिस ऑफ परफेक्ट ओके थोड़ा ऊपर रह गया क्या चलता है परफेक्शन मांगता है आप उनको ओके दिस इज दिस इज परफेक्ट लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो लर्न अबाउट सेगमेंट ट्रीज Which is basically a lazy propagation, ठीक है And after that, uh, we will be learning about Fenwick trees, again uh, range uh, queries and point updates is what I'll be teaching you. And after that, we'll be uh, solving problems on Fenwick. trees okay so expecting a 3 to 4 hour class expecting a 3 to 4 hour class i am not sure how long will i take till my voice gives me a ki ha lete chal lete chal tab tak main lete chalunga theek hai kya sach mein job mein use hota hai ah uh, i have not used uh, segmentary yet in job so abhi tak to nahi use kiya future mein shayad use karu lagta nahi hai yaar matlab interviews mein to puchte the uh tough tough companies in tough companies you will get these questions so anyways anyways let's get started aapko padhna hai padho aapko nahi padhna hai mat padho aise mat poocho kahan poocha gaya tha uh anyways uh, let's get started so just a quick recap of the previous class uh, just a quick uh, recap of the previous class in the previous class we did learn about uh, segment trees so if you have not seen this uh, seen this particular class please go and watch it and after that watch this class and if you have seen this class i will just quick a uh, uh, quick uh, recap so what is a segment tree assuming you have something like this you say you will have a single node is yes, as you you will have a single node which represents the entire range uh, 0 1 2 3 4 that's 
that's from 0 to 4 then you will have a left side then you will have a right side and the uh, left side will be 0 to 2 this side will be 3 to 4 then again you will have a left side then again you will have a right side this will be 0 to 1 and 2 to 2 again this guy will have a left side this guy will have a right side this is 0 to 0 this is 1 to 1 and this guy will be again this side and this side this will be 3 to 3 this will be 4 to 4 if you remember properly now this guy gets into over here this guy gets into over here correct and assume you are doing a uh, range sum assume you are doing range sum so basically what happens is this one plus three gets over here which is four so on two to two there is a one so over here one four plus one gives you five on three to three there is a two there is a four so sorry uh, two and five so two plus five gives you seven seven plus five gives you 12 this is how the segmentary looks like uh, any doubt any doubt this is how the segmentary looks like okay so pretty much clear with segmentaries uh, this is how the segmentary will look like and you can easily code this uh, using uh, the previous code that i have written the other day okay so abhi uh, segmentary uh, looks something like this now if you remember in order to query the segmentary sorry let's do a point update in order to uh, do a point update in segmentary we were something assume i'm saying update the index one with a value plus five i'm saying update the index one with a value plus five so what you did was you initially stood over here you said zero to four okay you knew that the left side is zero to two you knew that the right side is three to four so you asked basically where will the one be will it be on the left or will it be on the right so you got an answer that it will be on the left so you went to the left and you figured out zero to two so you are saying one will be over here correct now you're standing over here and you're asking is one on the left or on the right so you're like it's on the left so you go to the left correct now you're over here which is zero to one again you stand over here and you ask is it on the left or is it on the right you get to know that it is on the right so the moment you reach a node where that's the last node which can be easily signifies by low equal to equal to high so whenever you reach a point which is something like low equal to equal to high what you can say is you can easily just update this to plus five so you'll easily update this to plus five and while going back you will re-update six six plus one to seven 7 plus 7 to 14 so in this way you can update the segment trees in this way you can update the point to update in the segment tree okay now going across if i ask you what if instead of point updates i give you range updates where i say hey listen instead of updating a single index take this index lr and update all the values with a plus val instead of taking a, a point i'm saying take the range lr and update all the values with a plus val if I give you something like this, then what will you do? Any ideas? What will you do? Now, if you apply the point update wala concept, if I use the point update wala concept, the point update uh, takes logarithmic of n. Yes, the point update takes logarithmic of n time. So if I'm doing a range update, like if I just do this for i equal to l to r and then i call the point update every time for the index i if i just do this then the complexity will become r minus l plus 1 into logarithmic base to n do you agree do you agree that the complexity will become r minus l plus 1 into log base to n you guys agree that the complexity will become this right so the complexity will become this thereby we cannot use the point update concept and we will have to learn something which is known as lazy propagation in segmentary yes we have to learn something which is known as lazy uh, propagation on segment trees okay so what does lazy propagation state uh basically uh update the node when you visit it that's the first thing update the node when you visit it the next thing being once you update propagate the update downwards 
वंस यू अपडेट प्रॉप रेमो दीज कपल ऑफ पॉइंट्स अगेन वाइल एक्सप्लेनिंग आई एक्सप्लेन प्रॉपरगेट द अपडेट डाउनवर्ड्स दिस इज वॉट दे आर से अपडेट द नोट वेन यू विजिट इट एंड वंस यू अपडेट प्रॉपरगेट द नोट डाउन वॉट्स दैट इज वॉट यू विल हैव टू डू राइट सो गोइंग अक्रॉस इफ आई आस्क यू अ वेरी वेरी जस्ट मिनट Going across, if I ask you a very very simple question, that uh, let's take an array in order to understand this. So I will take an array like one, four, two, one, three, one. Okay, let's take this array and let's draw this uh, corresponding segment tree for this. So this will be over here. Then this will have a left. This will have a right. This will uh, have the indexes zero, one, two, three, four, five. This will point to zero to five. This will point to zero to two, three to five. Correct. Then this will point to uh, zero to one. Then this will point to two to two. Then uh, if I just write this, this will point to three to four. Then this will point to uh, five to five. Then this will point to three to three. This will point to four to four. Correct. Going across. Uh, this is going to point to zero to zero. This will point to One is to one. Okay, so this is how uh, this is how this will look like. This is how the segment tree will look like. If there's a doubt, you can let me know. How the segment tree will look like. Now, if I try to fill it up, if I try to fill it up, how the fill up go? The fill up will be very simple. At the zeroth index, there is a one. So you go to the zeroth index and say there is a one. And uh, at the first index, there is a four. So four over here. One plus four gives you five. At the second index, you have a two. So you fill up a two. So five plus two gives you seven. at the third index uh, you have a 1 and at the fourth index you have a 3 so 1 plus 3 gives you 4 at the fifth index you have a 1 so 4 plus 1 gives you 5 7 plus 5 gives you 12 so in this way the entire segment tree can be filled up like if i just give you a corresponding view in this way the entire segment tree will be filled up please please uh, let me know in the comment section if you have understood this let me know in the comment section if you have understood this सेगमेंट्री फिलअप क्लियर है इस आर के लिए ओके ना वॉट इज वॉट इज द लेजी प्रपोगेशन सो लेजी प्रपोगेशन से इज आई विल बी लेजी एंड आई क्रिएट वन मोर ट्री अलॉन्ग विद दिस आई क्रिएट वन मोर ट्री सेम सिमिलर ट्री अलॉन्ग विद दिस ओके सो देर विल बी ए कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग नोट सेम ट्री सेम ट्री कॉरस्पॉन्डेड टू इट आई विल क्रिएट अ सेम ट्री कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू इट रेमदस आई क्रिएट अ सेम ट्री कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग लाइक वेन आई से सेम ट्री मीन्स For every node, there will be a corresponding lazy node. Yes, for every node, there will be a corresponding lazy node. Okay. Now, in this lazy node, initially you will have values zero. Remember this. Initially, you will have values zero. All lazy nodes will have values zero. Okay. Now, thumb rule will it will always have to start off with all the lazy values are zero. Now, when I go across, we will be doing something as range updates. Okay, so I'm going to uh, tell you some rules about range updates so that you can easily uh, follow me. Let me write the rules uh, over here. So, if I'm doing a range update, okay. So, range update means uh, given a range L R is yes, given a range L R. Update it by a value plus val. So, if I'm saying given a range L R and you need to update it by a value plus val, what you need to do is you basically need to do this. एक सेकेंड रुको ओके नाउ इट्स परफेक्ट सो अभी आवाज सही आ रहा है एक सेकेंड रुको आवाज हलो 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 ओके नाउ इट्स परफेक्ट सो अभी आवाज सही आ रहा है एक सेकेंड रुको आवाज हलो 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 ओके ओके कूल सो बेसिकली रेंज अपडेट वेन आई से फ्रॉम एल टू आर यू हैव टू डू अ प्लस वाल so I'm basically saying ki, uh, suno, L to R jao and plus val karo. so that means you have to follow these couple of rules traverse in the segment tree traverse in segment tree theek hai and then check if the node completely overlaps check if the node completely overlaps if you remember complete overlaps with your range lr 
check if the node uh, partially overlaps and check if the node no overlap so there can be uh, three conditions something like previous days uh, in the cemetery we did uh, read that there will always be three conditions check if the node completely overlaps check if the node partially overlaps no overlap so there are going to be three uh, different conditions that you have to take care of okay so abhi check if the node completely overlaps pe kya karenge if there is a complete overlap then you will be like update the node update the node lazy propagate down and return okay if the node partially overlaps that means i'm saying there is a partial overlap so if there is a partial overlap then what you will call is okay they partially overlap kar rahe to apan kya karenge ki we will call left we will call right and then when it comes back for the node we will do left plus right so basically we will call the left to be updated the right to be updated and when it comes back we will reupdate our node no overlap is return no need to do anything you just return uh, these are the cases so let's uh, quickly take a uh, example so just uh, keep it in your brain completely overlaps update propagate down partial go left go right while coming back update the node no overlap in short return okay so keep these in your brain once uh, all these things in are in your brain we can easily learn uh, lazy propagation in segmentary let's uh, quickly take an example where i will be updating 2 to 4 Two to four is what I'll be updating with a value of plus five. Okay, two to four is what I'll be updating with a value plus five. So let's understand uh, two to four. How can you update that with a value plus five? Okay, so uh, listen to me. So initially, uh, you are looking to uh, two to four with uh, plus five, right? You are looking from two to four with plus five. So this guy, which overlap will you call? Which overlap will you call on two to four? this completely lies inside this but is this node completely lying inside this is this node completely lying inside this can you answer me that is this node completely lying inside this kya ye banda completely lie karta hai iske andar no so it's a partial overlap case whenever you are traversing in the segmentary and when you when you are this portion it's a partial overlap which overlap is it partial overlap so you're calling this as a partial overlap So if you remember on the partial overlap, you went left and you went right, correct? So if this is a partial overlap, you'll go left and you'll go right. Let's go to the left. Now you are at the left. So from here you start, you go to the left and you go to the right. So currently you are over here, zero to two. Which overlap is zero to two over here? Again a partial overlap because some elements of zero to two are lying inside two to four. Because some elements of zero to two are lying inside two and four, so again I can say this is a partial overlap. Partial overlap. So if it's a partial overlap, again go left, again go right. Now whenever you have uh, going left, zero to one is which overlap? Which overlap is zero to one? I can say it's a no overlap. Zero to one has no elements that overlap with two to four. Zero to one has no elements that overlap with two to four. So if it's a case of no overlap. What will you do? If you remember, it's a simple return. Remember, no overlap ka case kya tha? Return. So what I've done is in no overlap case, I have simply returned. So in no overlap, what I've done is I have simply gone and I saw that this is not overlapping with this particular guy. So it's time to just go back. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Abhi? Aage samajh. So I've uh, gone back. Perfect. Now I have come over here. It's two to two. Now two to two. This particular node. I repeat, this particular node is completely lying inside this. Agreed. This particular node two to two is completely lying inside two to four. This particular node is completely lying inside two to four. And if it is completely lying, then what can I say? If this guy is completely lying inside this, what can I say? Think and tell me. Kya bol sakta hu? then it's a complete overlap and if it's a complete overlap you have to update that particular node first uh, reason update that particular node 
so can i say uh, this node is responsible for storing only a single element this node is responsible for storing only a single element because it's just two to two so if i'm saying update plus five and the node is responsible for storing a single element so this will just do a plus five and thereby this becomes plus seven okay so i can say that the update of the node has been done the update of the node has been done now it says lazily propagate down and return it says lazily propagate down and return so i see does it have anything to propagate down it does not have children's to propagate down there are no other nodes in bottom where you can say take this and propagate it down so there is nothing in the bottom yes there is nothing in the bottom so if there is nothing in the bottom you can say there is nothing to propagate down thereby you will not propagate and you will move back now when you are coming from left and right whenever you are standing at over here this was a partial overlap when you call left and you call right so now you have returned so 7 plus 5 will give you 12 now so now this will return perfect now we will be coming over here where we have a 3 to 5 and I ask you is 3 to 5 a complete overlap and the answer to that is no 3 to 5 is a partial overlap in the range 2 to 4 so if 3 to 5 is a partial overlap in this particular range you will again call left and right so please go to the left and please go to the right okay, so whenever you go to the left you have a range 3 to 4 now I can say this range 3 to 4 is a complete overlap I repeat this range 3 to 4 is a complete overlap in the range 2 to 4 do you agree this range 3 to 4 is a complete overlap in this particular range agree karte ho? do you agree that this range is a complete overlap indeed so 3 to 4 is a complete overlap in this range because the range was 2 to 4 and 3 to 4 is a complete overlap in this range so if it's a complete overlap what will you do again whenever there is a case of complete overlap update the node so let's update the node now over here this node is responsible for storing summation of two nodes this node is responsible for storing summation of two nodes why because one is this and the other one is this so if it's responsible for storing the summation of two nodes what you will do is you will update plus five twice you will update plus five twice and then this will become 14 because 4 plus 10 instead of 4 plus 5 why because this is responsible for two nodes so if two nodes are updated by plus 5 each then the total update will be plus 10 agreed the total update will be plus 10 so the total update is done on this node now remember you will not go be beyond this you will directly stop over here you will directly stop over here and you will perform the next step what is the next step lazily propagate down lazily propagate down they are saying propagate the update down propagate the update down so what you will do is you will propagate the update down what was the update plus five you are like hey listen you have updated till here you have updated till here perfect but you don't go beneath they will take care of themselves just tell them that there is a plus five update pending i will not go beneath and i'll tell the children's hey children you have a plus 5 update remaining you can do that afterwards whenever you wish to so i just propagate it downwards i will stop right here and i'll propagate it downwards saying please update plus 5 whenever you wish to and now i will go back is that clear so when i propagate down kar diya. and now i'll go back from here time to go back and i'll come here this is a no overlap so you'll come back now whenever you come back yes whenever you come back there is 14 plus 1 so it's a 15 15 plus 12 you come back it's a 27 so ultimately your segment tree has been updated ultimately your segment tree has been updated is that clear is that clear to everyone arrows that confusion now Okay, so I have I have updated the segment tree for the first range query. Let's do it for the uh, next range query. Okay.
and do it for the next range query. So I'm assuming the next range query that I will give you is uh, from somewhere from zero to five digits. Nay. Let's give you from uh, Let's give you from zero to two itself. Plus two, okay. So I'm standing here. Zero to five is a partial, partial overlap. So you will have to go left. You will have to go right. There is no other option. You will have to go left and you will have to go right. Now, whenever you reach left, zero to two is which overlap? Complete. Zero to two is a complete overlap. If it's a complete overlap, what will you do? You'll be like, hey, listen, if it's a complete overlap, this node has to be updated. Update and propagate. You remember the logic? Update if complete overlap and propagate. Okay. Now coming across, if I'm updating it, remember this, if I'm updating it. So I will be like, how many nodes is this responsible? Three nodes. So in total, in total there will be an increase of plus six thereby this becomes 18 because this was responsible for three nodes and i'm saying there's an increase of plus two and if i'm saying there is an increase of plus two if there are three nodes in total there will be an increase of plus six so you'll update a plus six and you will get something as 18 makes sense makes sense yeah uh, absolutely makes sense so you have you have updated it to 18 right so once you have done this you'll propagate it downwards so it'll be like plus two plus two update in future not now update in future i am not interested to update as of now you can update yourself in future perfect perfect so again uh, we will come back we will come back and from here now we will go here and this is three to five come back 18 plus 15 will become 33 so again again it is all of these so that uh, to have better clarity yeah so this is how uh, after the second update it will look like now let's do one more update so that the idea gets clear now 2 to 3 update with plus 4 2 to 3 update with plus 4 now we will add one more element to our update traverse in segmentary update previous up previous remaining updates that's the first task that you'll always do if there are previous updates remaining you will always do that and then you will perform these guys then you will perform these guys First, you'll update previous remaining updates if there are any. You'll understand. Let's let's do this. Two to three plus four. Standing here, partial overlap. Partial overlap. It'll be like partial overlap. Go left. Go right. Go left. Go right. Now, when you go left, uh, it's a zero to two. It's a zero to two. 0 to 2 is a no overlap. So you go left and you go right. This is, remember, you are reaching 0 to 1. I know it's a no overlap, but, 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 what did I say? Update previous remaining updates. Whenever you are traversing in the segmentary, update previous remaining updates. So you are traversing in the segmentary and you reached this guy. And there was a previous update of plus two remaining. And if there is a previous update of plus two remaining, you will update. You will update. So, how many nodes is this responsible for? How many nodes is this responsible for? Two. And if you there is a previous update of plus two remaining, so this will get updated to plus four. That's nine. Pehle say previously there was an update of plus two remaining. You updated that, and five plus four went on to become plus nine and remember whenever you update a node you propagate you make this zero and you propagate that downwards saying whenever you go down someone else will update you 
but as of now i will update myself i am lazy i am lazy that's why the name lazy propagation i am so lazy that i will just update myself and i'll tell the children that whenever someone else comes up he will update you i am not interested enough to update you does that make sense so done now over here you have done the job update previous is done once you have updated previous once you have updated previous now you check for overlap this comes out to be a partial as uh, no overlap so you'll simply return no need to go beyond we just updated the previous update so if you see carefully one thing whenever you are visiting a node then only you are updating it not before that now you come over here plus 2 was remaining so this will increase and this will become 9 and this will become 9 now can i say if this becomes 9 there by this will become 0 because there was a previous update remaining and there are no further below children so no propagation so updated plus 9 but 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 now check for overlaps this guy is a complete overlap so thereby plus 4 will be done so in total there will be 13 previous to update and now 13 due to that plus 4 are there nodes remaining no so no propagation so 13 plus 9 will give this guy to be 21 kuch to locha ho gaya hai पूरा कर लोगे तो लाइक यू कैन इजिली अपडेट इट so basically you have to remember one thing whenever you reach a node update the previous remaining updates then do these tasks so if you remember it step by step it becomes very simple theek okay? hai so have you understood what am i doing basically updating whenever it's necessary otherwise i am pending the updates i'm saying let's do it whenever we require it and for the current node whatever we know we will just do it is the logic clear to everyone logic clear hai sabko kya logic hai clear hai sabko Is it logic clear to everyone? Is it logic clear to everyone? Batao, batao, mujhe to batao. Code kare le. Code tough lag raha hoga, but don't worry, I'll make the code easy. As I always do, I'll make the code easy. Code is very easy. We will do step by step. Now, this topic will not be in 200 plus. Now, that's why we are having difficulty. That's why we are not studying tough topics. People will uh, never prefer watching tougher topics. They'll always be like, uh, "Teach us easy stuffs," and they will be like, "Then, when they are not studying." It's such a good topic, and uh, but you will not see people coming and watching it. That's a problem. Anyways, uh, I will. Uh, I'll do an. Uh, in the evening, you will see. Uh, I'll do an uh, AMA, uh, which is ask me anything, and you will see minimum of plus five hundred watching at a time. You will see that. I'll click it there. I'll just do an AMA, and I'll see plus. Uh, that's the problem, na? They will never learn, and they'll be like always crying around. You have to learn, right? You have to learn segment trees. And if someone is teaching live, uh, I teach these stuffs by taking money. पहले मैं पैसा लेके पढ़ा था। तो यार मैं free में पढ़ा रहा हूँ तो क्या ही है छोड़ो। आ फिर एको क्या ही है? Okay, uh, as usual we will create a class of segment tree. Uh, you can just uh, do a vector of int uh, say st. And remember with st you will also now create a lazy. So for st what you will do is a uh, public uh, st constructor and i'll say in the constructor probably i can give you the size of the segment tree which is n so st dot uh, resize 
फोर इंटू एन लेजी डॉट री साइज फोर इंटू एन राइट सो आई मेड श्योर द सेगमेंट्री इज रेडी राइट सेगमेंट्री इज रेडी Now we will be like public. Uh, let's uh, write the build of segmentary. Build is very simple. Int index, int low, int high. Remember, guys. And then you can be like, if okay. Also, you need the array to build the segmentary, so you can take the array as well. So if uh, low is equal to high, then you can say st of index can be written as array of low, and you can just give it written. Oh. so that's the base case and you can just go to the left now so low plus i by 2 and uh, you can just go to the left which is 2 into index plus 1 comma low comma mid comma array okay and then you can be like build uh, 2 into index plus 2 mid plus 1 high and an array okay and after this when you come back you can say st of index can be written as st of uh, 2 into index plus 1 plus st of 2 into index plus 2 agreed theek okay. hai so we have specifically built up the segmentary now once you have built up the segmentary what's the next job uh, the next job is to definitely uh, provide uh, update and then we'll uh, learn about queries so in case of updates uh, what do you require you require an index you require a low uh, you require a high you require a int l the index that you are updating the index till which you are updating uh, you require the value that you will update and you require the array there's no need of array by the way okay. now what's the base case uh, now what are the cases i know uh, the first thing that i always do is if you remember the first thing that i always do is this. uh update previous the first thing nahi yaar mere ko nahi de rahe panch din pehle join karta tumhe all employees before december 1 not any is koi nahi 1600 dollar kya hi hai uh, update previous uh, hum jordan ke joote pehnte 1600 dollar kya kare hai ki nahi uh update uh, previous uh, remaining updates so the first thing that you will always do it update previous remaining updates. तो अगर कोई पहला बच्चा तो कर लेते हैं पहले वो कर लेते हैं फिर अपन कुछ और कर लेंगे ठीक है सो गोइंग अक्रॉस कैन आई सी द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई विल डू इज अपडेट द प्रीवियस रिमेनिंग अपडेट्स एंड प्रॉपरगेट डाउनलोड्स बिकॉज प्रॉपरगेट डाउनलोड्स सो स्टेप बाय इफ इफ लेजी ऑफ इंडेक्स इज नॉन जीरो देन आई कैन से देर इज एन अपडेट रिमेनिंग इफ लेजी ऑफ इंडेक्स इज नॉन जीरो आई कैन से देर इज एन अपडेट रिमेनिंग So I can just uh, update it. Can I say the number of nodes will be r minus sorry uh, high minus low plus one will be the number of nodes responsible into lazy of index is what it will be updated. And now once you have updated, propagate down nodes. Okay, so basically, I'll say if uh, if there is a children, uh, how can I uh, check if there is a children? That's a very good question. Uh, if low is not equal to high, then there will be a children. Because in case of low equal to high, that's a that's a leaf node, and they will never have a children. Apart from leaf nodes, they will always have a children. So if low is not equal to high, I can say lazy of two uh, into index plus one can take the value of the upper guy and say that we will update ourselves. So two of index plus two, and say that we will update ourselves. Correct? Lazy of two into index plus. Sorry, lazy of index. So they will take it, and once they are done, I can say lazy of index will say I have updated, I have propagated. Now make it zero. Again, uh, we can easily say. So basically, we can say lazy of index is equal to zero. Done. Now, what's the next thing? Uh, next thing is very simple. When I say it's a novel app, when it's a novel app. We don't do anything and we return. We don't do 
anything and return correct so if it's a no overlap can i say it's something like either low and high has to be like lr or can i say lr and low high these are the cases absolutely so can i be like if uh, high is oh, sorry if high is lesser than l or r is uh, lesser than low then it's a case of no so i can just return and now comes the case of uh, complete overlap complete overlap is the case where i say uh, l and r is there and uh, the node low high lies in between them so i can easily write something like if uh, low is uh, greater than or equal to uh, l and and high is less than or equal to r now, if that's the case yes if uh, that's the case uh, can i say can i say in case of complete overlap what did we do we updated the node so let's update the node segment of index plus equal to the number of nodes is it responsible for low plus one into the value that has been asked we updated it and then we propagate it to the children's so if there exists children's so low not equal to high means uh, it's a leaf node if it is having leaf nodes i can say segment of two into index sorry lazy on lazy i'll update it lazy of two into index plus one plus equal to val and a lazy of two into index plus two plus uh, equal to val so this is what i'll do and then i'll return from here saying update has been done now if these are not the cases then there'll only be one case which is partial so in case of partial you don't have to do anything special you just do a divided by two and you'll be like okay let's call the update for two into index plus one low comma high comma l comma r comma val okay at the same time call the update for two into index plus two comma low comma high comma l comma r comma val and once you have done this whenever you come back you'll be like segment of index is equal to segment of 2 into index plus 1 plus segment of uh, 2 into index plus 2 simple as that so this is how the update will look like so I'll just uh, pause it down so i want you to have this on a single frame please go through this and let me know if this is understandable yeah practice so with our practice uh, i'm able to write so clean codes because i've been practicing from very long is this clear clean code make them clear it's a case of no overlap by the way is the code clear is the code clear stream ko 100 likes to kar do yaar the tough cheez hai padha raha 100 likes to kar do is ab 100 likes same acha mid plus 1 hoga kya oh sorry sorry my bad my bad Clear to everyone? Update is clear to everyone. Update is clear. Okay, so if the update is clear, the range query will be similar. Now the range query will be uh, taken from uh, the. Now the range uh, query, assume I'm giving you the LR and I'm saying you what is the sum. Over here, we're going to follow the same technique that we followed in segment trees. Yes, we are going to follow the same technique that we followed in segment trees. In segment trees, what did we do? If it's a complete overlap, we returned uh, the segment of index, which is the nodes value. If it's a no overlap, what did we do? We returned zero. If it's a partial overlap, what did we do? We said uh, go left. We said go right bring the sum and return left plus right remember the query class ye segment ka yaad hai ye wala teen teen property from queries class you remember how long will have to run jab tak padha nahi pate so, jab tak i can teach till i have like i have come over with the logic i'll complete segmentary lazy propagation and fermi uh, till i don't complete i'll teach might be Two 
Loki. Clear? That's clear, right? To everyone? I don't know, I'm just in the morning, but Saturday morning is like so steep. Okay, 3.35 is code forces. No code forces, let's see. Let's see later. Let's see later. Let's see later. Complete overlap. Now, just before this, what we will do is, we will just add, if, if there is a previous update, let's do it. Do it. If there is a previous update remaining, do it. And propagate down. Because you are reaching a node, right? And propagate down. Just you have to add this. Because what lazy did was, lazy had some updates remaining previously. Right? So now if you have reached a node, you will just do the update so that the node is updated. Right? And apart from that, you can just carry on. If you are reaching a node, update it. If there is an update remaining. That's it. So it's a, uh, pretty much uh, similar to the previous uh, class that we did. Okay. It's similar uh, to the previous uh, like 1D segment, like normal segmentary key. I have a So, can I say uh, public on uh, void, uh, sorry, int query, int index, int low, int high, and you're requiring int l and int r. Okay, so if you have something like this, I can be like, okay, let's first uh, write down all the cases, right? Let's first uh, write down all the cases where we see complete overlap, no overlap, and all these things. So first, I know if it's a no overlap, return zero. Right, and and I know the no overlap case is nothing but this. So I'll just copy paste this, and I'll return a zero. And I know this is the complete overlap case. So I'll write the complete overlap case also. In case of complete overlap, uh, you can be like this and then you can return the segment of index. And in other cases, you can be like, you will go to the left. So you can be like int mid equal to uh, low plus high by two. And then you can call the left uh, calling a query of uh, two into index plus one comma low comma mid comma L comma R. And similarly, you can write uh, right equal to query of two into index plus two mid plus one comma high comma L comma R. And you can uh, return uh, left plus right. Correct. Right. Now, just the different thing, just the new thing that you have to do is update if any updates are remaining as the node will stay fresh and updated so what i'll do is i know this is the case if there are updates remaining this is the case so i'll just copy paste if there are updates remaining just do it saying that if the lazy value is non-zero which means there are updates remaining do it and propagate down and after that it's a very simple one straightforward 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 okay So this is how the query will look. This is how the query will look. Update any update remaining. Apart from that, it's similar to what we did learn in segment trees. The only difference that I did was I updated if koi bacha wa query bacha hai. If there is an update remaining, we will do that because otherwise the node will not have fresh values. Okay. So I can say we have almost coded our segment tree, and uh, now I'll try to. Yeah, now I'll try to uh, have this. Let's again have n. So I've taken the array. So probably I can give the input as let's say five elements and uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, we can now build the segmentary. So in order to build the segmentary, remember this is the segmentary class. What you need to do is call the constructor. So call, make an object, uh, call the constructor with size n of array, and it will build it. 
it will basically create the segment tree okay and once the segment tree is created you can just uh, call the build function and it'll be like index low high will be n minus one and pass on the array the segment tree gets built so i'll just run it uh, to see if this is building Okay, so every we've written seg, so let's write seg. Oh, class, yes. Cool. Uh, so segmentary is built, I guess. Yeah, segmentary is built. Now let's take some queries. So assume I'm giving you three queries. The first query being uh, type one, where I say give me the sum between zero to index four. Second query being uh, type two, where I say increase all the values uh, from uh, one to index three with a value plus two. Okay. So basically, uh, let's take the queries first. Int q. Uh, you can write scene of q, and you can be like while uh, q minus minus. And I can be like I need type. Let's say the type of query scene of type. And if uh, type is equal to equal to one, then you can just uh, take uh, the LR. And you can be like C out. Oh sorry, C in LR. And you can be like let's print uh, C out st dot query of zero comma zero comma n minus one comma l comma r. So you will easily uh, print it off. As a summation, or else if the query is of the other type, you take L R and the value. So you'll take C in L R value, and once you've done this, you can easily do S T of dot query of uh, zero comma zero comma n minus one comma L comma R comma val. Okay, so this is what you can easily easily do. Okay, let's now run it and if see if it's working fine. Too many arguments. Okay. Invalid operands. Why? Why is it invalid operands? Let's see out. Why? 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 Let's check it out. Why is this giving a segmentation fault? Uh, let's let's try to uh, omit this for a reason. Let's not update it and see if this is the query is working fine. Yeah, the query first query is working fine. It gives me the correct sum. Acha third query hai nahi na isiliye. Oh, abhi kya the? Third query diye nahi hai to segmentation nahi dega. Acha segmentation de raha abhi bhi. Okay, let's quickly check it out. Why it is giving segmentation fault? Just to be safe, let's make it n plus one. Still getting a segmentation fault. Oh, uh -huh. let's see. Let's see. Where am I getting a segmentation fault? Should not give me a segmentation fault. Kyu de Exit code. Oh. Code to say lag raha hai ko. Uh, 
सेगमेंटेशन फॉल्ट क्यों देता है जब वो होता है राइट right? Uh, let me let me just check it out. Low to ah uh -huh. yeah works fine. Thanks thanks. Uh, so uh, low to mid and mid plus one to high works fine. So did you see how this code worked? So just if you want to uh, take this code completely, मैं इसको अभी देता हूँ उनको. I'll just share this code uh, so that you can open on your compiler and check it out. Pura, <coughs> pura check out kalu. So on your compiler, uh, try this. ID one dot. This one I like. I paste it or copy it. Chat pe. On your compiler, please try this off. ID one dot com slash. Try this off. Cool, right? Ek bar check karo. Is it opening? Can you please check? Is it opening? Can you please check? Is it opening? Keep this code in your GitHub. Keep this code in your GitHub. Every time there is a segmentary lazy propagation, use this. Keep this code in your GitHub, guys. Is it opening? Can someone confirm if it is opening? As someone confirm if it is opening id ones uh, dot com slash working. So then id one dot com slash ये वाला लिख दोगे. All right code ठीक. Code मैंने दे दिया. So prefer writing class wise code. So if you see if I write a class wise code I can create multiple segment trees without actually rewriting it. And uh, I've written it like generate to n whatever n is it'll automatically resize it. ठीक है. वो भी चलेगा बट वो वाला क्लास uh, वाइज नहीं है सो यू कैन यूज दिस सुमिता यू कैन यूज दिस दिस इज मच बेटर क्लास वाइज है तो बेटर रहता है यूज करने में ठीक है Okay, let's uh, let's do uh, a simple question. Uh, now, if I change this question to range minimum query, I'll ask you the question to be changed to a range minimal query. Can you tell me how will you do this? If I change to a range minimal query and update, now tell me how will the change effect? What changes will happen? If I change the question to state, you have to do a range minimum query and an update. That means uh, you definitely cannot uh, write this. You definitely uh, now cannot write this because this was being done because uh, the number of nodes every node was increased with a value val. Thereby, you were like number of nodes into val is what you updated. So if I just change this question to range minimum query and update, how will you do this? Think and tell me. What will be the change? So so. तो तीन मिनट सोचो एंड बताओ फिर डिस्कस करते हैं वर्ल्ड विद द चेंज इफ इट इज गिविंग रेंज मिनिमल क्वेरी देख के पता क्या चेंज होगा सोचो 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 क्या चेंज होगा
यस मिनिमम की वैल्यू चेंज होगा बट कैसे करोगे हाउ विल यू अपडेट द सेगमेंट हाउ यू अपडेट द सेगमेंट इज द क्वेश्चन हाउ विल यू अपडेट द सेगमेंट सो आई कैन से इफ इफ अ लॉट ऑफ नोट्स आर बींग चेंज विद अ वैल्यू वैल द मिनिमम ऑल्सो गिट्स गेट्स चेंज विद अ वैल्यू वैल डू यू अग्री द मिनिमल ऑल्सो गेट्स चेंज बाय वैल्यू वैल अगर मैं इसको कॉपी पेस्ट कर दूँ हाई लेट वर्क How will it work? Uh, obviously, over here it will be like minimum for sure. No doubt in this. That's the first change that you will do. Over here, instead of this, I can be like the minimal will be updated with this much. Makes sense. The minimal instead of saying number of notes into this, because if I increase the minimum so much, it will be like this. It will increase the minimum so much. Agreed or not? Do you agree? Right. Next, what will be the change? Again, same over here. The minimal will increase by value val. The slight change will be this. And in query, it's of zero. If you are looking for minimal, it will be int max. And over here again. So did you see how I changed a template so so fast? Itna fast make template ko change kia to make it a proper problem. Did you observe this? So this way only you have to do it. You have to keep it in GitHub and whatever is the circumstances, you just copy paste and change to minor changes into the code. Clear? Eh? Is the minimum clear? It's exactly similar. It's just this line that you have to change in your lazy propagation. Time complexities will be longer to make of n because we have discussed in the previous class. Whenever we do complete overlap, no overlap, partial overlap, the time complexity is longer to make of n. So over here we are just doing complete no and partial overlap. So the time complexity will be longer to make of n. Clear, eh? Sabko? Ek question abhi deta hoon. सोचो एंड लेट सी यू कैन डू दिस गिवन एन एरे गिवन एन एरे ऑफ क्वाइंस गिवन एन एरे ऑफ क्वाइंस ओके वेर वन डिनोट्स हेड्स जीरो डिनोट्स टेल्स वेर वन डिनोट्स हेड्स एंड जीरो डिनोट्स टेल्स I want you to tell me in the range LR how many like there will be a type one query how many heads are there? There will be a type two query where I say LR means flip coins in this range. That means head will become tail, tail will become head. For an example, for an example, if I take this and I write down the indexes. And I said type one query to being from index one to five. So in the index one to five, how many heads are there? There are only two heads. So I'll be like, there are only two heads. I said type two query. Please flip everything from two to four. So type two query says from two to four, flip everything. So this becomes one. This becomes one. This becomes zero. I again said type one query from one to five. How many heads are there? Now from one to five, the number of heads are one, two, and three. There by three heads. Is this clear?
and this is the question so i'll give you five minutes and i'll uh we will have five minutes to think on this okay five minute look so just give it okay so i'll have five minutes so please think on this five minutes ke baad shuru karenge theek hai think 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 the question think the question given in the range ela you have to tell me how many ones or heads are there flip means zero becomes one one becomes zero Take some time. Take some time. Think. Two more minutes. Any idea on anyone can solve this? Can anyone solve this? कोई नहीं कर पा रहा है यस कोड फोर्सेस ओके सो आई एंड दिस ये क्वेश्चन करके एंड कर देंगे अब एन विट्री का अलग क्लास ले लेंगे ठीक है कोड फोर्सेस है तो कोई देखेगा भी नहीं फिर खत्म कर देते हैं ओके फिफ्टीन वॉचिंग हो गया फटाफट आप खत्म कर देते ओके सो स्पेसिफिकली इफ आई आस्क यू हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी सिंपल आई कैन से दैट वेन आई से फ्लिप कितने 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 देर में एस कितने देर में कुछ फोर्सेस कॉन्टेक्ट दस मिनट में ठीक सो वेन आई से फ्लिप क्वेंट्स इफ आई एम आस्किंग यू Can you just store the number of ones? That's very simple to store because uh, over here what I'm counting is number of ones. I'm just counting the number of ones when I'm saying how many heads. So, आज रात को हाँ ठीक है आज रात को ले लेते देखते हैं देखता हूँ how many heads? Is it easy to count the number of heads? Think and tell me. Yes. Only the update portion is complicated because in order to count the number of heads. 
इन ऑर्डर टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ एड्स आई कैन बी लाइक मैं फटाफट करता हूँ ताकि तुम लोग का कॉन्टेस्ट नहीं मिस हो इन ऑर्डर टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ एड्स इट इज प्लस ऑनली इट इज प्लस ऑनली बिकॉज इट्स अ रेंज क्वेरी एंड वन जीरो है तो ईजिली हो जाएगा है कि नहीं करेक्ट बट अपडेट में इश्यू है इन अपडेट कैन आई से कैन आई से आई विल से कैन आई से इफ आई एम आस्किंग टू फ्लिप ट्वाइस अ रेंज फ्लिप ट्वाइस अ रेंज इज दैट इक्वल टू नो फ्लिप कैन आई से इज दैट इक्वल टू नो फ्लिप बिकॉज इफ आई एम आस्किंग टू फ्लिप इट ट्वाइस इट्स इक्वल टू नो फ्लिप फोर टाइम्स अ रेंज इक्वल टू नो फ्लिप सिक्स टाइम्स अ रेंज सो कैन आई से इवन नंबर ऑफ फ्लिप इज इक्वल टू नो फ्लिप दैट्स द कैच यू कैन स्टोर इन लेजी जीरो और वन एंड इफ इट्स अ जीरो इट मीन्स फ्लिप वन मीन्स सॉरी नो फ्लिप वन मीन्स फ्लिप यू कैन जस्ट टिल टेट ओवर फ्लिप नो फ्लिप फ्लिप नो फ्लिप एंड वेन एवर आई एम सेइंग फ्लिप कैन आई से दिस नोड इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर लो टू हाई एंड इट कंटेन्स एक्स नंबर ऑफ हेड्स सो इफ आई फ्लिप इट If I flip it, then can I say the number of heads will be high minus low plus one minus x? Can I say this will be the new number of heads? Do you agree? Do you agree that this will be the new number of heads if I'm flipping it? Agree, करते हो? Do you agree? Agreed. So that is what I'll do. As simple as that. What I'll do is I will straight away go here, and I'll be like over here it will be minus because heads will change. Number of total minus heads will be the and this will be the update. And over here, can I say it will be like do it opposite? If there is a previous flip remaining and there is one more flip coming, that means there is no more flips. And similarly over here, can I say? Do it opposite. If there is a previous flip remaining, if there is a previous flip remaining, then just don't do it. That's it. Correct. If previous is, then okay. No, then zero one zero one. Do it. And you can just turn this off. And uh, over here again, the same thing will be here as well. So you can just copy paste. Over here also same thing. Minus. Just look at the uh, slight changes I'm doing. Done over here also minus. See, see, it's just a logical, such logical concepts. Okay, first code khatam me. Done. I'm done with the code. I'm done with the code. It's just that I have to figure out that even flips means a zero flips. I just used zero one zero one zero one, and uh, number of heads means. If it's flipping, total minus h will be the new number of h. Does everyone did everyone understand this? Everyone watching, did you understand this? Everyone watching, did you understand this? Did everyone of you watching understand this? Fat fat, tell me. Understood, everyone. Okay, sir, then bye bye. Like, share the stream. Go. चलो लाइक करके चले तो अज्यूमिंग यू गाइस हैव अ कोड फॉर दिस कॉन्टेस्ट आई डिड नॉट नो सो आई विल बी हाई माइनस लो प्लस वन ये तो लिखो ये तो लिखो हाई माइनस लो प्लस वन वही तो लिखो डूड हाँ हाँ सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स आएगा सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स आएगा परफेक्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स कौन से में है अब सब सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स या सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स भी टेक करेक्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स जिसमें भी होगा सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स कर देना यहां पे भी सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स आएगा एंड आपका यहां पे भी सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडेक्स आएगा परफेक्ट सो यू कैन ड्रॉप ऑफ बिकॉज़ यू हैव अ कोड फॉर दिस कॉन्टेस्ट अगेन आई विल जस्ट पुट इट अक्रॉस टू दैट स्टफ ओनली मैं इसको आईडी 1 में डाल देता हूं ओके आईडी वन एट सो आई गॉट द न्यू आई डी वन किन यू किन यू अगेन रीचेक सारा कोड इसमें आ गया कि नहीं इस लिंक पे अदर कॉपी पेज दिस वन किन यू जस्ट चेक एंड जस्ट लेट मी नो बिफोर एंड दिस स्ट्रीम इफ दिस इज कमिंग क्विकली चेक एंड टेल मी दिस इज कमिंग 
I'll try to take it at today uh, 11 o'clock. Fen victory wala class. Let's see. Let's see today 11 o'clock if I can take the fen victory wala class. Not at all. Let's see. Opens. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, have a good code for this contest. I'll go and see. Bye bye. Take care. See ya. Uh, resume review uh, next Saturday.